In this question, there is an arrangement of blocks and pulleys. There is the mass of body A is given to be four times the mass of body B. We have assumed mass of body B to be M, so mass of body A will be 4 M. The height H is 20 centimeter. At a certain instant, the body B is released and the system is set in motion. Now, what is the maximum height the body B will go up? We need to assume that enough space above B and A is there and A sticks to ground when it hits the ground. Now, when A comes down, B moves up and let us find that at an instant when A hits the ground, within that time B attains some speed and due to that upward speed, it starts moving up and it reaches up to a height till its speed do not become zero. So first of all, we need to find their accelerations. So from constraint relations, we can find that if this length is L1, L2 and L3, we displace B by X upward and pulley by Y downward such that A moves by Y downward then from constraint relation we can write L1 plus L2 plus L3 is equal to L1 plus Y plus L2 plus Y plus L3 minus X or X is equal to 2Y that is d2x by dt2 is equal to 2d2y by dt2. If we consider acceleration of a to be small a, then acceleration of b will be twice of acceleration of a. So b is moving upward with acceleration 2a. Now, let us assume the forces on the blocks, let T be the tension, so T upward, Mg downward, here we have T and T upward such that 2T downward, we have 2T upward and 4Mg downward. So for block A we can write. 4Mg minus 2T is equal to 4m into a or 2mg minus t is equal to 2ma. This is first equation for block A. Now for block B, we can write t minus mg is equal to m into 2a. This is for the second block. If we add them up, we can write this T is cancelled, 2mg minus mg is mg is equal to 4ma or a is equal to g by 4. So a comes down with acceleration g by 4 and b moves up with acceleration 2g by 4 or g by 2. Now during the time when the block a drops by h, B moves up by 2H. <coughs> so when A comes down by H, B moves up by 2H with some speed, say U. So speed U at that instant, that is this, during the time of fall of A, B accelerates upward and attains some speed. So we need to first find the time of fall of A by a distance H. So here from we can write h is equal to half a t square or t is equal to under root 2 h by a that is equal to under root 2 h by g by 4 that is under root h h by g. Within that time, within this particular time, the speed attained by block B 
is u is equal to acceleration into time that is twice of g by 4 into root 8h by g. So it is 2 4, 2 is there that is equal to under root 2gh. Now if we put the values, we can write this value to be under root 2 into 10 into height is 0.2 meter that is equal to 2 meter per second. <coughs> so this is the speed attained by u at this particular instant. With this speed u, how much more height it could reach? Let us assume this height to be h naught where the speed u will drop to zero. So here from we can write u square is equal to 2 g h naught because in this time the string becomes slack and there is no tension, there is downward acceleration g. So here from we can write h naught is equal to u square by 2 g that is 2 into 2 by 2 into 10 meter or that is equal to 20 centimeter. So total height raised by B can be written as total height raised by B is equal to 2H plus H naught that is 2 into 20 centimeter plus 20 centimeter that is equal to 60 centimeter. So height raised by B maximum height raised by B is 60 centimeter.